Hey guys, what's up? It's Kat, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the brand new Apple Pencil Pro. This is something I'm so excited about. If you're a student, a creative, or just anyone who loves using their Apple Pencil, you're gonna wanna keep watching. I have the brand new iPad Air and I've been using the Apple Pencil Pro with it for the past few days and I'm obsessed. I'm gonna share with you my favorite features and how I use it to multitask and just make my workflow more seamless. Let's get into it. Let's talk about the Apple Pencil Pro box. This is the first time I think that Apple has actually been really creative with their packaging and I'm really loving it. There are a bunch of different options and I got this black one. It's really cool. I never throw out my Apple boxes and I'm definitely keeping this one. As you can see, Apple Pencil has the hover feature so you can see the apps pop out and you'll be able to see what you're going to draw before you put your pencil down on your iPad. If you're anything like me and misplaced where you put your Apple Pencil in different backpacks or bags, you're going to be happy to find out Apple Apple Pencil Pro is now available on Find My, so you will have that peace of mind that you know exactly where it is. Everyone is talking about the barrel roll feature. I actually got to try this out last week in New York with Apple, and my first impressions were, wow, I cannot wait to try this when I'm writing calligraphy or just doing some graphic art. I'm not an artist, but for all of you who are, I think you're gonna really like this feature. It's definitely something you're gonna wanna test out. Basically, when you twirl your Apple Pencil in your fingers, the direction of the brush changes. You can actually see a reflection of a pen stroke before you put it down. This is definitely something that's fun to play around with and I actually got to use the Xenia app to practice my calligraphy. As an artist, there are many ways you can utilize this. I used the liquify tool to simply roll my fingers and it created a really cool spiral effect. And it's also really cool in Adobe Fresco. A lot of the graphic artists at the event said it's going to spark creativity and it's gonna be really cool to use with different brush strokes. I feel like the possibility are endless with the barrel roll feature. That's something really cool that Apple has not had and I'm excited to test it out more. Of course, we had the new squeeze gesture where you could quickly open up tools and settings. Apple actually opened this up to third-party developers. So the different apps you use, the squeeze gesture for, different options will pop up. I tried it in Adobe Fresco, Freeform, GoodNotes, and Procreate. And every time you squeezed, a different interface popped up. I'm really excited to see what other developers do with the Apple Pencil next month at WWD. As you can see, when you squeeze, the tool palette shows up and you can slide between the different pen strokes that you wish to use. It's also really cool because if you choose a crayon, for instance, you see a little shadow on your iPad of a crayon brush. And now if I'm choosing a different brush, you'll see a shadow as well. This is a fun new feature, I think. It's the little things with Apple that really make this interface really fun to work with. I'm really loving the haptic feedback on this. I first noticed it when I squeeze and I go to erase, you feel a tiny pulse each time you're erasing something else on your screen. This eraser tool is also really cool where you can quickly erase, just hold down and spiral like this and you'll slowly erase everything on your screen. Something about the Apple Pencil Pro that really excites me that not a lot of people know about is how you can create a custom gesture when you squeeze. So if you head over to your Apple Pencil settings, you see that it is automatically on squeeze to show the tool palette. But if you go down, you can click on shortcut. So now there are tons of different shortcut options. You can use it to turn on a recently played song, set a timer for instance, if you're in university and you wanna have some 25 minute studying sesh really quick, you can squeeze it to start a timer. You can record. This will be really useful if you're in a lecture or a meeting and someone's talking quickly or you just wanna have all the information, you can quickly squeeze to record or even squeeze to open up a quick note. I actually quickly created a custom shortcut that I think will benefit me. So I quickly split the screen between ChatGPT and my GoodNotes app. So if I'm in class or in a meeting, I can be writing notes and then ask ChatGPT and anything right there. You can put anything you think would benefit you if you have your lecture slides on one side and then your GoodNotes app to write notes beside it. That would be really useful. You could even squeeze to unlock your Tesla or squeeze and have the lights turn on or off in your house. I feel like this is gonna be really fun to create lots of videos. So make sure to head over to my TikTok where I'm gonna be testing out more fun squeeze gestures. I really love what Apple's doing with the new Apple Pencil Pro. It's definitely gonna boost my creativity and productivity. 
as of right now, the new Apple Pencil Pro is only available on the new iPad Air and the M4 iPad Pro, but it is the same price, which is $129. I think it is definitely worth it if you're up for an upgrade. I'm ready to unbox the brand new M4 iPad Pro. So if you guys are interested in seeing an unboxing, my first impressions and review, make sure to hit subscribe so you can be the first to watch. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.